everybody. Um, this is Miss Virginia and my niece Jaden right here. We are outside tonight in this wonderful spring air and I have one of our puppies outside. Come here, Mama. Come here, come here. This is the one that always likes to join us because this is Marma. She is her name is Marma. A love a bug. Yep. And she's my love a bug and she knows it. But tonight, <clears throat> I'm going to read something that's special to me. And it's a series that I love. It's called The Berenstein Bears. I used to read these, well, the librarian used to read them to me when I was a little kid. So, um, as you guys get ready for bed tonight or whenever you do, get your blankets and curl up and get ready for a nice time story. So, we're going to read The Berenstein Bears Visit the Firehouse. Now, as you can see, this is the front of the book. And we can see that this is the author down here. And his name is Mike Berenstein. So, you can see from the front, it looks like the Berensteins are going to visit a firehouse. Just by this nice little red truck. And then this back here, right here on the side of the book, it's called the spine. This is what holds the book together. Some books are harder, so they have hard spines. This book is paperback, so it's done by staples. And then this is the back of the book. Sometimes you can tell what happens about a book, but with this one, it just has different Berenstein Bear books. So. Let's begin our book called The Berenstein Bears Visit the Firehouse by Mike Berenstein. I wonder where they're going to go. I don't know where they're going to go. Let's find out. It says, We're off to the fight fires, our engine bright red. The sirens are blaring, it's full speed ahead. Very first picture we come to. I wonder full what that speed. Is. I wonder what that is. It's dog. It's dog. Cling, 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 said Brother Bear, imitating a fire bell. Ew, ew, said Sister Bear, imitating a fire siren. Broom, broom, said Honey imitating a fire truck. The cubs were playing firefighters, pretending their toy trucks were rushing to a fire. See how they're playing so nicely? That's nice. You know, Papa Bear, said Papa Bear, your cousin Wilbur is a real firefighter. He lives down at the firehouse. Really, said Brother? Don't you think we could visit him? Why not, said Mama. After all, he is family. Wow, said the cubs. A real firefighter. Marley, do you want to see the firefighters? Do any of you know firefighters? I actually have a couple firefighters in my family. The Bear family drove to the firehouse. The firefighters were outside taking care of their trucks. Hello, Cousin Wilbur, said Papa. Why, hello there, said Wilbur. What brings you all down to the fire station? We wondered if we could get a tour of a real firehouse, said Mama. Good idea, said Cousin Wilbur. Hey, crew, he called to the firefighters. Meet my cousins, Mama, Papa, Brother, Sister, and Honey. The firefighters waved and greeted them and met a very special firefighter, our dog, the Dalmatian Paisley. A cute spotted dog trotted up and licked their hands.
Did you know fire trucks are also called fire engines? said Cousin Wilbur. The standard truck is the pumper. It carries hoses and pumps, water from the fire hydrant. A hook and ladder truck is bigger. It has a ladder and it reaches high on the buildings during fires. Why is it called a hook and ladder truck, said sister. Because of these, said cousin Wilbur, fire hooks are used to tear down walls and ceilings in a fire. So they're learning about ladders and trucks. Our biggest truck is a tiller rig, said Cousin Wilbur. It has two sections joined together so it can make sharp turns. Each section has its own driver. The driver who steers the rear section is called the tiller man. That's my job. Terrific, says brother. Could, could we help you steer? Why not, says Cousin Wilbur. After our tour, we'll go for a ride. I wish I could go for a ride in a fire truck. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. See, they're having fun and exploring the fire truck. Come inside and see all the gear we need for fire fire, fighting fire, said Cousin Wilbur. Wow, said sister, look at all the neat stuff. It takes a lot of special equipment to fight fire, said Cousin Wilbur. That's a funny looking thing, said brother. Those are called the jaws of life, said Cousin Wilbur. We use them to pry things apart when we need to, fight, to get into tight spaces. I wonder why they're called the jaws of life. Actually, Jaden, I actually know about that. They're called the jaws of life because when a car, see this car? See everybody, there's a car right here. And if the car is damaged and you can't get in, they can't get the person out, they use these jaws of life to cut the car so they can get the person out safely. I didn't know that. See? And here's all the tools that they have. And a lot of times I've heard it's not fun when they have to use the jaws of life. That wouldn't be fun. You need special clothes to fight fires too, said Cousin Wilbur. Would you like to try on this helmet? Did you, do you live upstairs, asked Mama. Yes, said Cousin Wilbur, right this way. What's that for, asked Brother. We slid down the fire we slide down the fire pole from upstairs fast when there's a fire, said Cousin Wilbur. Is it safe? asked Mama. Not always, said Cousin Wilbur. Some firehouses don't use them, but it's the quickest way to get downstairs. I think that would be fun sliding down the pole. <laughs> It'd be like riding down a slide. It would be riding down a slide. They have a bedroom, a kitchen, a storage, and a common area. Everything we need is right here in the firehouse, said Cousin Wilbur. See, they have everything a common home has right at their fingertips. It's, it's cool that they have their very own common room. They do. Where they can just like relax until they need, until they're needed. That's right. Some of them work 24 hours, some work 48 hours. It just depends. Bring, ring the bell, the, ring the alarm bell on the wall. That means there's a fire, said Cousin Wilbur. Time to go. He grabbed the fire pole and slid down. The Bear family followed on the stairs, except for Mama. She got excited and slid down the pole too. Mama Bear said, Papa, that wasn't very safe. Sorry, said Mama, straightening her hat. I guess I got a little carried away. 
The firefighters put on their clothes and climbed on the trucks. Want to come along, said Cousin. Cousins, asked Cousin Wilbur. Yes, they all cried. Now, normally, that normally doesn't happen. If there's a fire, they have to leave, and you can't come with them. So, but in the book, they were able to go, so that was kind of cool. The bear family put on fire close to and climbed aboard. Cousin Wilbur took brother, sister, and honey with him to help steer the till rig. With sirens wailing and bells, bells chiming, they roared away. See, they got all their clothes on. And then they're soaring away off to the fire. I hope they get there to put it out in time. I hope so, too. They soon arrived at the fire. It was a smoky fire from a stove in a restaurant kitchen. The pumper trunk Pumper truck squirted fire. Firefighters climbed ladders to get folks down from the second floor. They rescued pets from upstairs too. See, they have to have the ladders so that they can rescue. And they even got the animals because, you know, our pets are very special to us. So I would be really sad if Marley died. Yeah, it would be sad if one of our animals went somewhere. An ambulance was on the scene. Luckily, no one was badly hurt, but the restaurant chief had a burned finger. Emergency workers had a bandage on it. Paisley helped by licking the chief's chef's face. Hmm. Marley would do that. She likes licking. I like it when they lick your face because that means they love you. It means they love you. The fire was out now, and the firefighters packed up their gear. It was time to head back to the station. That puppy looks so happy, doesn't it? I bet he's glad that he's able to help, too. Like yeah. Making people feel better. Animals do like making people feel better. Yep. That was quite a tour, said Papa, as they drove away. Yes, agreed Mama. Very exciting. Brother, sister, and honey helped cousins steer. Here come the brave firefighters, they all cried. Cling, 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 went the fire bell. Ew, ew, went the fire siren. Brim, brim, went the fire truck. Looks like everybody had a wonderful time visiting the fire station. And we all know that once everything opens back up, fire stations will be able, you'll be able to go back out and visit the fire stations. And I know a lot of schools have um, tours where they invite um, kids to go visit um, fire, um, fire stations. And I think you did that, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Did you do that in kindergarten? Yes, they even gave us red fire hats. You got a red fire hat. Yep. I remember that. So, remember that it's going to be a wonderful evening. Sleep tight. And we will see you next time. Say night night, Mar Yi. Mar Yi says night night. She loves night night time. And we will see you next time. Bye.